and let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Jan and Sylvia, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now if you'd like to please be seated as we now listen to some readings from this A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness, to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to the psalm is, The Lord is my shepherd, which is an arrangement by Andrew Moore.
Please now please stand for the gospel reading. Alleluia, alleluia. God is love. Let us love one another as God has loved us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me, no. I chose you and commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. The Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to please be seated once again. Several years ago, in fact, quite a number of years ago now, there was a film called Captain Corelli's Mandolin. Some of you may remember it. It was a film set on the Greek island of Catalonia during the Second World War. The island was occupied by the Italians, so there was great resentment against the Italians and the Italian army. But in this story, a young woman called Pelagia fell in love with the Italian captain. Her father, Dr. Yanis, was very concerned. First of all, he spoke to her about the difficulties that she would experience. She'd probably be ostracized by, ostracized by her fellow Greek, uh, the, the fellow villagers in the Greek village. She'd probably have to leave Catalonia and travel to Italy. But more than those difficulties, he pointed out something else and gave her some advice. And I must admit, I was very struck by this particular passage. So he says, love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots are so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because 